it's often happened to me that uh, people will come up to me and say, thank you, I read your book, or this book, or that book, the other book that you wrote, and it changed my life. And my response very often is, thank you, that's terrific, maybe I should read it myself. Because it's one thing to... It's true that we, we teach what we have to learn ourselves, but just because we teach it doesn't mean that we've really deeply learned it. The knowledge of the truth does arise from our own challenges, but just speaking the truth and teaching it doesn't mean that we've absorbed it. It usually doesn't mean that we've absorbed it partially at least. It's not, it's, it's not a pretense. So when I speak about something, I do speak with conviction and, 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 and awareness, but that doesn't mean that I've done all the work to perm so that it actually permeates my life and that I've really truly really absorbed it or, 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 or manifested it. So the challenge there is to keep noticing the gap between what I think I know and what I'm able to teach very skillfully often and what I'm actually living. 